and what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the layers again right click overwrite assign assisting material overwrite and ssdof so now suddenly everything turns back and that's because we haven't set we haven't told Maya that it should show the textures so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the attri attribute editor and in hardware texture I'm gonna choose combined and if I show textures so now it kind of shows it when you created the the texture you got this object in the middle of the scene and this actually shows where the texture should be uh, shown on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate this and fit it to your camera um, if you hold down J it will uh, do it in uh, equal uh, angles kind of snap it so um, this is a bit uh, slow I'm gonna set it to default quality rendering just so it will be a bit quicker and then I'm gonna yeah I think that's it so basically this is uh, this is just tweaking the object making it fit and you can kinda see the effect now it doesn't look uh, that good but uh, this is only a pre preview of what we are going to see so this looks more like it if I choose the render cam I'm just gonna make a test render and you can see already this looks uh, basically like how I want it to look um, I'm not sure I think I I selected the window as well that's not good so I'm just <laughs> Okay, this is. Uh, I think that was. Uh, no, you know what? Let me just redo it because it's easier to rotate the window. At least I think so. Yeah, this is uh, just uh, quickly done. I don't care too much about it. This is. Uh, it shouldn't be pretty. It should be learning. So that's fine. I'm gonna try to render it again. That looks just the way I like it. So I'm gonna save this image. And I'm gonna call it DUF DJ. Fine. And then I'm gonna render a beauty. and I'm gonna save it I always mess it up when I have to write beauty so I'm just gonna write pretty <laughs> so that's basically it next step is uh, in Photoshop Radio. So, what I'm gonna show you in Photoshop can be done in other programs as well. Uh, if you're making animation, obviously you don't want to use Photoshop, but uh, for this purpose of uh, showing you and teaching, it's uh, fine. Um, so normally I use fusion when I uh, when I make uh, when I combine stuff uh, I just have to remember where I put the stuff um, projects yes, yes there it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and open all of them so this is our beauty and uh, on top of that I'm gonna add the other layers so the first thing I'm going to add is the engine occlusion 
I'm just gonna press Control A, Control C, Control A to uh, select everything, Control C to copy, and then I'm gonna go to uh, the new the beauty layer, and I'm gonna press Control V to uh, paste, and now I got the layer on top of the other one, and I'm gonna use A multiply layer. This means it's going to mix the layers up and you can control the opacity if you think it's a bit too much. For now I'm just going to leave it at uh, around here. And you can already see it adds a lot to the picture. Um, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add some fog. I'm going to press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, Ctrl V on top of this. And uh, I want the fog to be more wide as it goes uh, further away from the camera. So I'm gonna press Control I to invert it. And I think, actually now that I see this, I think a normal <laughs> depth of field layer looks like this. But it's a matter of preference. You can do whatever you like. And um, I'm not sure what kind of layer I should choose for this, so I'm just gonna scroll through them to see if there's something nice. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a screen. And then obviously I'm gonna turn it a lot down because it should be very sudden subtle. I think something like this. Yes. And what I'm gonna do now. So you worked on your picture and you, you thought, hey, I'm kind of happy, happy what uh, what I've done. So I'm just gonna merge these, merge these layers together by selecting all of them and pressing Control E. Then I'm gonna duplicate it by dragging the layer down to the new layer icon down here. And then I got a copy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a mask, add layer mask, and. Uh, I want basically this as my layer mask. Um, so in here you can see your layer mask. And if you press Ctrl V after copying from the other layer, it will automatically set it in. This is basically uh, yeah the only way to get the, the layer in because you can't press here and then duplicate or, or pass it in. I don't know why, but that's just the way Photoshop is. So I'm gonna go to filter because I want to blur this and I want the Gaussian blur I think it's called my English is not that well most of the time <laughs> um. so but uh, I think this is uh, blurring the foreground I think that's fine so you can see I think it's gonna be a lot more just to just to make it clear. Three point three, and I'm actually gonna do that on uh, this one as well. I think so at least. So you can see it adds a little bit. If you want to try it, you can just invert this, and you can see it much better. This get the foreground gets sharp, and the background background gets a bit more unclear. Uh, but I want the foreground to uh, to be blurry. I must admit that making a cylinder was not the best idea for an object in the foreground because it's just black uh, shape, so you can't really see the blurriness but uh, it should be in there and uh, this was actually a quick tutorial on uh, how you could make render layers um, I showed you how to make an ambient occlusion layer and how to make a depth of field layer um, in the end I showed you quickly how to set it up in Photoshop to make uh, a nice uh, result and uh, you can open at least I think so, we can open the original, I don't think so, let me just save this 
and then I think I can open up the original. So you can see there's a lot more going to it, and you can use this uh, depth of field layer to uh, make a grain on uh, the image as well to make it give it a more uh, real definition. But you can see basically on this simple image that it adds really a lot to it. So I hope you got a lot out of this tutorial. Um, I hope to make some new cool tutorials in the future. I'm planning about uh, making some in uh, Christmas and also up till then. Just because I think it could be uh, really cool to kind of have a weekly present for, uh, for everybody that wants it. So they can uh, check out a tutorial in the winter while they're waiting for presents or anything like that. Uh, besides that, I would uh, recommend that you uh, go check out, go to um, polyface.com and uh, sign up on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube, maybe also a Twitter, or maybe just one, if you want to do that. And uh, write a comment about how you feel about the, the tutorials and articles. Every time a person writes something, I get uh, all warm inside and thinks, way cool man. I really like it when I get some uh, response from people. And that's why I do it. I'm not doing it, doing this for money, I'm doing it for... <laughs> I was thinking fame, but <laughs> that's not that's not why I'm doing it. I just think it's fun and uh, it's really cool that people can enjoy free tutorials. I think it's such a shame that uh, tutorials has to be this expensive to be good. Um, I would I won't say too much about the t the future because I could keep talking about this and. Uh, there's really no reason for it. I I'd rather show you later. But um, have fun and uh, ask questions if uh, something is wrong. Write me an email. Uh, my email is 3d.deje -E at gmail.com. Um, feel free to ask me anything or even suggest uh, something I should write an article about or make a tutorial about. Everything is welcome. But uh, see you for now. Bye.